You know what they say, you can catch flies with honey, but you can catch more honeys being fly. Yo, what's going on guys? And welcome to a brand new episode of Food Sense. My name is Nickel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And yes, I do have my Christmas tree still up. It's March, but hey, it's Christmas every day at Nickel's place. With that being said, as you can see by the title of this video, it's weird food combinations that people love. So, I've got a bunch of items that I've seen online that people actually mashed up and they actually enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give it a test, see what it's all about, and uh, I might even puke a little bit, but we'll find out. Before we do that though, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. It would really help, and uh, it'll let you know when I post new videos. So click on that bell icon, and let's get it. All right, weird food combination number one. So what we did here is we mashed up. Uh, we have Doritos, nachos, chips, and then we have a slice or half a slice of Velveeta cheese, or should I say Chez. And then we have a slice of banana on top of that. So it's kind of like an hors d'oeuvre. Um, I like to say this is a bougie ghetto or the hors d'oeuvre or bougie ghetto mashup. And I'm gonna give it a little taste test. Actually, I ain't gonna lie, I did try this way back in the day. Um, shout out to Timothy Delaghetto on YouTube. He's one of the OG Asian YouTubers out there. And uh, he actually introduced me to this snack. Um, it might be a Californian thing. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this snack before. But I'm gonna say it's a bougie ghetto snack or bougietto. Um, here I go, cheers. Got that nice crunch to it. I don't know how I feel about that cheese. Ugh. Nothing goes better the last time I had it. I think it's the Velveeta cheese. Yeah. Hmm. It was better before. I think it's the Velveeta cheese. I used Velveeta because I felt like it would make it more bougier, but it was the same price as the Kraft Singles. Usually I get the Kraft Singles, but uh, I, I went to get the Velveeta. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It was nickel approved back in the day, but uh, without the cheese, maybe with the banana is fine, but let me just see. Banana and Doritos chips. That's not bad. I mean, actually, it's pretty good. So, banana and Doritos cheese. Nickel approved. Banana, slice, and Doritos chips. With the cheese, nickel not approved. Nani? On to the next one. Weird combination number two. So it's not food, but it is a drink. And uh, I actually learned about this shot about a week ago. And um, it is a shot of pickle juice and a shot of, well, it's supposed to be whiskey, but all I have was spice rum. So I'm gonna do a spice rum and, pickle, and chase it down with a pickle shot. So apparently it's called uh, a pickle back. So the shot, the shot is called a pickle back. I'm gonna call this shot the Nickelback. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I had it last time, I had it last week, and uh, it was pretty good. So I'm gonna try it with spice rum, because that's all I had. Some Captain Morgan, and uh, I have pickle juice. So I'm gonna chase it down with pickle juice right after. And apparently it's supposed to counterbalance the shot and make it delicious. So here I go. Um, as you can see, I got the two Lakers shots here. Shout out to the Lakers, shout out to Kobe and Gigi. Rest in peace, Bamba forever. Here we go, so I'm gonna take this shot first of spice rum, chase it down with the pickle juice. Hopefully, I don't throw up. Cheers. Oh. Wow. Yo, okay. 
that went down pretty smooth. Something about the pickle juice that just like made it so much smoother. Um, but Nicholas Blue for this pickleback shot, or should I say nickelback shot, on to the next weird combination. All right, next we have peanut butter and hamburger. So people actually put peanut butter in their hamburgers. This one's a McDouble. It's from McDonald's. Um, and I'm gonna give it a taste test. I feel like this is going to be really uh, gooey, really sticky. Cheers. Nah. What is this? Well, I can't even chew. My mouth is like sticking together. Whoever has peanut butter in their hamburgers, they're crazy. I would never do this. Why ruin a McDouble? Come on, man. I, was, I really wanted to eat this too. Peanut butter and a burger. Nickel, not approved. Next. All right, next mashup or next food combination that is weird is honey and french fries. So I got fries from McDonald's, my favorite fast food fries. And uh, let's pour some honey into it. Drizzle, drizzle that on there like that. Give this a little taste test. Cheers. Fries don't look, fries are old, keep in mind, but I don't know how I feel about this one. It's one of those things where you just gotta keep eating it and it grows on you. So I'll say this is not good food. If you like honey with your biscuits, then um, you'll love honey with your fries. But uh, you know what they say, you can catch flies with honey, but you can catch more honeys being fly. Did you guys get that one? Anyways, fries with honey, nickel approved. All right, on to my next one. Next we have yogurt with, actually strawberry yogurt with goldfish, cheddar goldfish. Now, I don't know who invented this one, but uh, it looks like a kid snack. And um, for those of you that know, only the real ones know about this yogurt here. This is like a throwback yogurt. Um, super old school, I had it when I was a kid. Actually, they used to give this away, was it in elementary? Um, but uh, same with the goldfish. So I'm gonna mix this up and uh, this should be interesting. I don't think it'll taste that bad, but here I go. Looks like cereal actually. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Oh, whoever, invent whoever invented this strawberry yogurt and goldfish. This is a great combination. Really good. Very good. Super good. Nicola Poo. Okay, I think this was my favorite one so far. This and the pickle juice shot. Um, definitely need to try the yogurt and the goldfish. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably finish this, so. Let's do the next one. All right guys, I know you're gonna hate me for this one, but I'm gonna do Oreos and pickles. What? Eat them together. I swear to God, I did not make this up. This is not, I'm not, I'm not the first one to try this. So it's been done before and people actually enjoy it. I'm gonna test it myself. I got Oreos here. Actually, it's, it's the Mega Stuff Cream Oreos and uh, I'm gonna mash it up with pickles just too lazy to cut it up so I'm just gonna take a bite of the pickle and do an Oreo. All right, cheers. Okay. It was, it was not bad at first. A little bit more the chocolate and pickle and the cream they don't really go together 
I don't know who eats these. It must be high, drunk, or the only food that they have left in their kitchen. But this one is uh, this one's not this one's not good at all. Nickel not approved. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass on the Oreo and the pickle. Um, I'd rather just have the Oreo by itself and the pickle by itself. Or just drink the pickle juice. I think I love pickle juice now. But nickel not approved. Next. I saved the best for last. It is the taco spaghetti invented by I believe is it that show iCarly Carly? It's a Disney show, family channel. I have never watched it before. All you youngins probably do though, or have heard of it. Um, it is taco spaghetti. It looks pretty delicious, to be honest. So I actually made Filipino spaghetti last night, and I'm gonna tell. Let me tell you this. I make. I just recently made, or I just recently started cooking Filipino spaghetti, and I make pretty bomb spaghetti. Facts. Facts. So, therefore, it's gonna be. I'm going to think it's going to be delicious with a nice crispy taco shell right here. And uh, I got one of those bougie taco shells where it stands upright. So I'm going to do this before my stomach hurts. Um, I don't know if it was that pickle juice, but I still love pickle juice. Anyways, bon appetit. Taco spaghetti. This looks pretty bomb. Ain't going to lie. Cheers. How do I even eat a taco like this? How do you guys eat a taco? This way or that way or this way? Is it wrong if I eat it like a burger? I think I'll eat it this way. Eh. It look good. Taco shell doesn't really do anything. Oh, maybe because I didn't even, I didn't toast it. Or I didn't bake it. I should've heated it up. Okay, well, not heated up taco shell and spaghetti doesn't do anything for me i'm not gonna say i hate it but i'm not gonna say i love it so um eh, nickel not approved without without the sh taco shell nickel not approved but nickel's filipino spaghetti though look at that nickel approved let me know if you want to test it out dm me There's hot dogs in here. There's your mashup. Hot dogs and spaghetti. It's not your typical spaghetti. It's a little bit sweeter, but it is bomb. So that sums up my video with spaghetti all over my face. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. If you're new to my channel, I will be making more videos, hopefully faster and sooner. Um, so I want to say thank you guys for the love and uh, appreci I appreciate y'all and uh, stay tuned and if you want to see more videos like this let me know I might do a part two part three part four um, as long as as long as they're good but it doesn't hurt to try so um, my name is Nickel and this is Food Sense peace